Welcome to the show. My name is Jeremy Poole and I'm the host of The Moment on Real Estate Social, where we explore and celebrate the necessary transformational process you must go through to achieve a high level of success. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great uh, guest today for you. My friend DJ Thielen flew all the way in from LA just this morning to be on the show. I met this guy, uh, what, about a month ago? About a month ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A, a month ago we were- at, In Malibu. In Malibu, California, at this beautiful setting for a mastermind. And uh, one of the first interactions I have with him is he allowed me to drive his super sweet DB9 Aston Martin <laughs> drop top to drive down, down the way to go change, change out of my suit into something a little bit more comfortable. And you didn't wreck it. I didn't wreck it. Yeah, so we're good. So we're still boys. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're still boys, but I didn't go fast, just a little bit, just a little bit. So DJ is uh, CEO of Fortune Foreclosures LLC, and he's also the founder of Flipping On Demand. DJ, thank you for hey, being man. on the show, buddy. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Great to be here, man. 100% yeah. dressed. This was just a thought, you know, a month ago, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, just a month ago. We were just having a conversation and kind of telling him a little bit more about us and, and what we do here, and he was uh, gracious enough to, to, to fly down. Absolutely, man. So DJ, as you know, the show's called The Moment. What would you consider or characterize as being the defining moment or series of moments that have allowed you to develop into the big success that you are today? You know, uh, Jeremy, I'll tell you, <clears throat> there's a couple. I know we got a, a limit on here, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but you know, really, um, I think there's, there's two main ones that uh, I experienced in my life that really um, taught me that there's there's um, a deeper meaning um, of why we're here. Um, and you know, the first one was uh, when I was um, a uh, sophomore in college playing baseball, of sure. course, and uh, you know, I gave my life to God for the first time, and <clears throat> and I basically just had this monster season you know and you know was junior college player of the year was a high round pick for the giants that year wow. and i and these things happened where um before that you know it was always me like i gotta do it i gotta do it it's yeah, all me right and uh kind of like your people like self-made right like sure. none of us are really I think self-made. No, we have people not. that support us, encourage us. It, it takes a whole village. I can tell you that. For Absolutely. Me. Yeah. Yeah. And so I just I realized that there was this. Um, even though I had a lot of talent, mm -hmm. I realized that there was this flow. There was this mm -hmm. like almost like you, you're not even trying as right, hard, right. and and things just start chipping start happening and, for you. Start happening. They start yeah. falling into place. Yeah. So that was the uh, the first uh, experience um, that really gave me an understanding that there's there's um a flow to life there's something that is out there but i haven't i didn't you know it's 19 yeah, right right hadn't figured out what it was i love that um and then the pieces kind of came together in 2010 uh my mom retired uh worked her whole life in portland oregon <clears throat> and uh retired at 62 April 1st, 2010, heart attack dies April 30th. Wow. <clears throat> and I remember my brother coming over um, and he just looked at me, he says, uh, hey, you know, his head was down and I said, hey man, what's going on? And he says, hey man, um, mom died. And I remember standing up and this just wave come over me. So here's a person that is our idol, you know, grew up single mom, really no dad in the picture. And she, believes in this system that she's going to work her whole life and sure, and sure, hey sure. i'm going to do this and retire and the 401k is going to take care of me and um so that really um was a day that i'll never forget and not just because of her passing so we drive down to portland and i'm looking in this uh, basically we're you know going through some things uh and I found all these old drawings that I did. Hmm. I found a drawing from the third grade. Mm -hmm. So check this out. Um, the third grade, <clears throat> and I, I, it was, who, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I wrote on this paper that um, I want to be a professional baseball player. I want to play for the Pittsburgh Pirates, mm -hmm. right? And, and so I looked at this, and it was just blew my mind, man, because the crazy part was, like, that was in the third grade. I thought of it one time, yeah. wrote it down, um, didn't really think about it again. And so I fast forward many years later, I was able to play professional baseball. I do all my, a lot of business out of the Pittsburgh PA area. So it wasn't wow. like sure, sure, exactly sure. as yeah. I wrote, right. but it was enough similarities to have me go, 
wow, there's there's more to this manifesting, That's right? Incredible. Then it was like this this eye opener for me, like the genie came out of the bottle. You know, it was like this. There's something to this, right? Um, to our thoughts and our energy and how it all I ties together. I completely agree with that. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And I do believe in what you're saying that there is a flow to life, and I feel like faith has a lot to do with it. Uh, confidence, not only in your own ability, but confidence that you deserve the things that you desire. Absolutely. I personally believe that my desires, my ideas aren't mine. I believe that they came to me and I'm just a conduit. I'm just a, I'm just a vessel to see that thing come to fruition. Absolutely, And I feel man. like the more and more I, I believe that, the more confidence I have in my ability to get it done, because I'm not necessarily all that confident per se for me and what I was born with and my own personal talents. It's just that if I have that desire, it's pure, it's coming from a good place. Therefore, the universe, I sort of have this faith, is going to partner with me yeah. on that, right? Yeah. Like, I was praying for a long time. I was like, I, like we gotta get DJ on the show. And then here you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. You manifested it. Yeah, man. But you know, and, and I, I think <clears throat> people ask like, um, you know, what is the struggle that people, that, that most people have? Yeah. And I just tell them very simple, it's, it's all of us. It's sure. our inability to control this mechanism, right? Mm -hmm. Our thoughts, mm -hmm. <clears throat> our emotions, uh, our energy. Yeah. Um, and really, when once you come to understand that that is in our control and it's in our power, not that we're all gonna be perfect. Sure. You know, hey, sometimes uh, someone cuts me off and I'm just like, <laughs> oh, you know? <laughs> yeah. But uh, but overall, yeah. you know, You're I've, still I've, human. Co I've come yeah. a long way, man. <laughs> yeah, I've come a long way. So uh, for 46, man, I've come a long way. Yeah, well, I love it. DJ, thank you so much for that. And now it's time for a short break to hear a word from our sponsor. Hey guys, this is Jeff Van Nostren. Have you ever been talking to a client that came to the conclusion that they were just gonna wait to purchase a home? Wait for what? The forecast is that interest rates are going up. The forecast is also that housing prices are going up. So what exactly are we waiting for? The client says, well, I'd really like to save a bit more money for my down payment or I don't wanna pay $2,000 to break my lease six months before it expires. Okay, so the alternative is you wait six months and the price tag of that same home is $20,000 or more higher. Did it make more sense to break the lease for two grand or do you wanna pay that higher price tag? Furthermore, if interest rates go up, the cost of borrowing money is more expensive. So I really think those clients need to think long and hard about making some sacrifices to make home ownership happen sooner rather than later. I'm Jeff Van Nostrand. I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, I'm Charlie Garber with Fixated Real Estate and I'm gonna be talking to you about the Pacific Northwest Big Badass Real Estate Wealth Expo. Last year blew us away. We had over 30 vendors, 500 registrations. It was an amazing two-day event. This year, gonna be even better. We're gonna have over 60 vendor sponsors, speakers from all over the United States that are doing it. None of this guru crap that's out there. You're talking about real investors kicking ass in real estate from multifamily, single family, commercial, buy and hold investors, fix and flip guys like me. They're gonna be there. And if you need to learn how to raise money, if you need to actually go find people to get money for your next deal, then this is the event you wanna be at. It's three days, April 27th, 28th, 29th in the greater Seattle area. Don't miss out and I'll see you at the Pacific Northwest Big Badass Real Estate Wealth Expo coming to you in April. So DJ, you do incredibly well in the space of real estate. Uh, investing in property, identifying the right investments, so on and so forth, coaching people. What's the fastest way for someone who wants to change your life and start making money in the space of real estate to do it right now today? You know, man, um, <clears throat> there's, there's two main ways that I think, uh, aside from being a realtor or a developer mm -hmm. or something like that, right? Sure. There's two main ways that people are making money <clears throat> in real estate out there that they go to the events, they see the speakers, things right. of that nature. Right. The first one is, uh, conventional flipping, right? You mm. buy a house using either your money or private money. You buy a house, you fix it up, you list it, you sell it. Sure. Um, and you know, that's one way. Um, you know, it's high risk. Um, you gotta have the, 
<clears throat> the balls, you know, to actually <laughs> yeah. risk right. and do it right. and, uh, and not be fearful. And, you know, some people do, it works out great. And for others, now that you can make a lot of money in that way. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, it's high risk. Your payout is, you know, four to six months typically down the road. Sure. Um, and so that's one of the main ways that, you know, people make money in real estate. The other way is what's called wholesaling. Okay. So wholesaling is basically like getting a property under contract. All right. And instead of me closing on the property, I'll take that in assign or sell basically the contract to you. Right. So you can buy this property and you're paying me this assignment fee. Mm -hmm. You close on the property directly. Um, and so wholesaling has become like this massive, you know, yeah. buzzword in sure. the industry. Sure, sure. <clears throat> Everyone wants to do it. It's big business. Yeah, and the, and the thing about wholesaling, you know, another great way to make money, not the fastest, I'm gonna tell you what it is, um, but the thing with wholesaling is it's market predicated, right? Like flips. Mm -hmm. So it works in certain markets at certain times yeah. under certain circumstances, certain, circumstances, <laughs> certain weather, right? <laughs> so it's, it's like, it's very market predicated. Now I yeah. was in this in 05. Um, so I went through the, the rise in 06, 07, um, at the peak, I went through the crash and mm. the downturn and everything. And these, these, these um, methods of conventional flipping and wholesaling mm -hmm. got wiped away. Wow. Um, so, you know, a lot of builders and things just, just completely decimated. Right. And so <clears throat> at that time, um, I had created a very unique way to answer your question, uh, Jeremy. I created a way to flip properties, not use my own money, mm -hmm. make 20 to 40,000, and have the money up front in my bank account in two to three days. Wow. So I created this kind of life hack didn't know what I had done at the time. Sure. Uh, did it kind of out of necessity. And uh, I started doing my deals this way in 2007. Mm. And fast forward uh, 11 years later, uh, you know, a few thousand deals that I've done since then. A few thousand then, deals. A few thousand deals. Wow. And um, <clears throat> never really shared it with anyone until recently this last year started opening it up and really, you know, telling people how- Your secrets. My, my secrets, yeah. That's yeah. incredible. A few thousand deals. That's really, really impressive. Okay. And so you're now releasing it. Is that through some kind of a coaching program? What's going on with I've been, that? I, you know, I created an academy okay. uh, <clears throat> called Flipping On Demand. Okay, right. And so, uh, as you know, and I, cr I created this as a way, you know, with the typical programs, it's all information. Sure. Right? So, obviously, like, with this strategy, they have to know how to do it. Right. But at the same time, uh, what I saw out there in the arena mm -hmm. was you know, really, really weak support. Right. Um, people didn't have access to the actual people that were doing the deals, mm -hmm. talking to, you know, Joe in a cubicle, yeah. you know, that yeah. maybe did a deal <laughs> and he's going off of like a script and sure. going through modules. Yeah. So I knew that for it to be successful and work, um, you know, I wasn't concerned about having, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people a month come in. Mm -hmm. We wanted the right people okay. that wanted to change our life that were ready for the change. Okay. They're willing to do whatever they needed to. And uh, and we've just had some crazy success stories. Have one wow. guy was in gangs just maybe four or five years ago, um, ripped out five deals in the first few months. Wow. Um, have another lady, uh, probably my favorite story, there's many, <clears throat> a lady, Deborah, 71, was trying to make money in real estate for 30 years mm -hmm. and hadn't done a deal. Um, did it you made, made 10 grand, but still, you know, sure. it was this, this breakthrough right. of, and, I and, can do this. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. So, so, so in your opinion, this new strategy, the, the all-star Academy is the fastest way. So can, would you mind giving us just a little bit of a snapshot of what that strategy consists of and oh, where man. people can go for more information? Oh, absolutely. So, um, without sharing everything, right. uh, but a little taste. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, little uh, but basically, um, you know, this, I, there was no name for this. Okay. So I started traveling and speaking at real estate events, right? And people would say, dude, how are you doing your deals? Yeah. And I would tell them and they'd be like, dude, that's crazy. I, that's genius. Yeah. I never even thought of doing a deal that way. Sure. So I started seeing from these high level, like people that were literally teaching people not even ever thought of doing a deal this way. Like, how do you do it and stuff? And I started, let's call me later, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I kept it really in the bag. Um, and so, but basically um, I call it inverted flipping, mm -hmm. right? So rather than buying a house, using your own money, 
um, using your money to fix it, mm -hmm. and then waiting four to six months for your profit, I ended up, uh, or wholesaling a property, mm -hmm. Uh, making two, three, four, five thousand, which is kind of typical. Right. Um, I saw this kind of um, hybrid that was like, okay, you can make the big profits as flipping on mm -hmm. the market, mm -hmm. but um, you don't have to use your own money. Right. And you can have your profits in two to three days in your bank account. Mm. Um, and the largest deal that I did in this strategy was sixty thousand. Wow. Um, and had the profits in a couple of days. So it's the absolute like the fastest way. Um, to make money real estate is this strategy 100%. Fantastic. And so where can they go for more information? Is there a website? Yeah, they can go to uh, www.flippingondemand.com okay. and uh, check us out, you know, uh, watch a webinar sure. um, on this, give them good information. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, see the testimonials, the actual testimonials, uh, of real members that have yeah. had success and that kind of thing. So, Great. um, yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic. Um, so DJ, you were able to build a multi-million dollar real estate investment company from scratch with no training, mentorship, and very little money and literally having to figure everything out on your own. Um, how do you think that has helped you creating your signature flipping program that you're currently working with and, and promoting? Cause being in this business, lots of people have all kinds of different backgrounds and strategies and approaches. But I know from firsthand experience, it's very difficult to start a business from scratch, especially if you don't come from money or have a mentor growing up. So talk to me a, l a little bit about that because I'm in the same shoes. I've never had a mentor or somebody coach me. Oh man, well, you know, uh, the, the learning curve is a little longer. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, and, and so I think that, um, you know, the good part about it was that um, I probably did everything wrong, right? Sure. I paid contractors wrong, had them run off with money. Right. Um, managed properties wrong. Um, I mean, everything that I did, because I didn't know what to do, sure. had no real estate experience. Mm. I was just figuring this out. Now, at the time, I was making great money. I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars I was making, but there was all these pieces that was, you know, like- It's kind of clunky. Clunky, yeah. very clunky, yeah. broken. Sure. And so, uh, so really from basically just sticking with it when, mm -hmm. you know, I, I mean, believe me, man, there was times it felt like, like throwing the towel in, but I'm like, you know what? I'm, not, I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah. Um, just keep working this, I'll figure it out. Yeah. And, um, and so I just kept going, man, and uh, didn't quit. Um, and was able to, over time, over the last 11 years, really master and figure out um, all the pieces. So like the landmines sure. that when, pe when people come into our academy, um, we partner with them, mm -hmm. right? So they get to communicate with me, my business partner, right. uh, my assistant, like my whole executive directly. team. Directly. Interesting. Um, just shooting us messages through our app and that kind of thing. Okay. So that's what really uh, allows them to have success sure. is, hey, you know, hey, DJ, how does this work? Hey, no problem. Listen, I've been, you know, I've been through it, right? Yeah, right. So it's like, just do this. Yeah. Oh, man, I didn't even think about that, you know? <laughs> yeah. So instead of them having to get beat up, right. say the wrong things, yes. um, and not have to like know everything and say, hey, keep it simple, get really good at this, yeah. and then go to this. Yep. And I think so many people, man, they try to digest, oh my everything. God, I gotta, everything, I gotta find properties. They want all the lights to be green. Yeah, I you gotta know. fix them. Yeah. I gotta, oh, how am I gonna do this? Yeah. Yeah. And and so, you know, we just make it really simple and say, hey, listen, step by step. It's a over, process. It's a process. Um, but as you're learning the process, mm -hmm. we're gonna show you how to get cash buyers at will, like okay. as many as you want each day, wow. that are actually buying properties and in every city in the country, mm. how to get their phone number, how to get their email, mm -hmm. get on the phone, talk to them, call them, text them, direct message them on Facebook yeah. and, and connect with them and then build that relationship. Now these are your ideal clients, right? And so um, by really harnessing in, uh, basically removing all the landmines right. for them, uh, they're able to just come in and, and really, you know, everyone's different, sure. but really have success much, much faster um, than they would otherwise. And if you're making 20 or 30 or 40,000 on a deal, and instead of wholesaling and making maybe two or 3,000 or something, sure. um, you can get to your goal a lot faster. A lot faster. Making those kinds of chunks, so. Love it, love it. Yeah. So last question. There's literally gonna be tens of thousands of people who watch this interview. Many of them are either selling real estate, 
Hey, you told me millions. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone is thirsty and hungry right now, yeah. not heavy over real estate. What's the biggest piece of advice you can give to somebody who's seriously looking at investing into real estate? You know what, man? Absolutely, without a doubt, um, find a mentor. Find and, a mentor. And yeah, not just like, because here's what happens, you know, there's all this information, sure. shiny object, this program, that software, new trends. This new, there's all these different things that people get caught up in buying these things. Right. It's, oh, well this software, oh, you need this, mm. this fine property software and you can't do it without it. Mm. And, and they start believing this. Right. And the reality is like, none of this crap was around sure. when I was doing it. And I still, to this day, I mean, things have evolved. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't have a, um, a dial phone anymore. <laughs> but, uh, but with that said, you know, it's just, I think that, um, with, with people, they get, if they don't, they don't know what they don't know. Mm -hmm. And so they just start chasing things and never really. And really the, the thing is, it's not the things you're chasing. Um, it's basically slowing down, having someone, I think the number one thing is find not just a mentor, but a mentor that has been it, and has done and went through and is at where you want to be. That's right? huge. I think that's huge. I mean, not just somebody who's maybe perhaps a level above you, but identify somebody that you probably like yeah. and respect uh, and that's willing to show you the ropes. Step Absolutely. By step. And, there, and listen, there's a lot of, you know, as we all know, there's a lot of good and bad in everything. Out of course. There. Right. And, and so there's a lot of, of great stuff. There's also a lot of garbage. But right. at the end of the day, I think people, if, if they're looking to, everyone wants something different, sure. right? So if they're happy um, working a job and and uh, and staying at a job their whole life, I think you should do that. Right. But if they're looking to really crack the code on, on flipping real estate and get free quick, um, you know, find someone that that's done and is at where you want to be Good. that you can spend time with. Sure. And uh, you know, it's like Michael Jordan, right? Yeah. If you if you're playing hoop. I mean, if you could have Michael Jordan teach you some stuff, you know, it might cost a little, but yeah. it's going to be worth it's it. It's worth it. It's worth it, yeah. Well, right on, brother. Well, thank yeah. you so much for your time. Absolutely, and man. thank you for being on the show, and thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you again next week.